Well, good morning, Beaver Dam. It is Pastor Owen coming to you live from Beaver Dam and Rousey's Chapel. And today is Monday, uh, May the 23rd. And uh, you are joining us for our time of reflections. Yeah, I know we're a little earlier and we're going to be meeting a little earlier this week because I have uh, other obligations uh, that I need to take care of during the week. So uh, this week we'll be meeting at 730, but it, uh, our video will be here uh, whenever you guys decide to watch it. If you happen to be joining us live this morning or throughout the day, drop us a line there in the comment box. It's a great way for us to stay connected and it's a great place for you to put your prayer concerns and praises. So um, our time together is uh, is one where we where we read some scripture together. Uh, this week we'll be practicing our, our spiritual discipline of breath prayer. And then uh, we, we have some reflections of mine on the text. So we have been using the Revised Common Lectionary for, uh, for our daily readings. And this week is no different. And we're taking on uh, Psalm 29 all week. And we'll be reading that from different translations. And then uh, we've got a little reading from Acts this morning. Well, good morning, Jack and Mary Helen. Glad to see you guys are up a little earlier this morning. So uh, let's go ahead and, and jump into our text, shall we? So Psalm 29, it's a Psalm of David's, and uh, this morning I'm reading from the Common English Bible. So let's see where, uh, where David takes us this morning. Oh, listen to this word, of, word from God. You divine beings, give to the Lord. Give to the Lord glory and power. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Bow down to the Lord in holy splendor. The Lord's voice is over the waters. The glorious God thunders. The Lord is over the mighty waters. The Lord's voice is strong. The Lord's voice is majestic. The Lord's voice breaks cedar trees. Yes, the Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon jump around like a young bull. He makes Syrian jump around like a young wild ox. The Lord's voice unleashes fiery flames. The Lord's voice shakes the wilderness. Yes, the Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The Lord's voice convulses the oaks, strips the forest bare, but in his temple, Everyone shouts glory. The Lord sits enthroned over the flood waters. The Lord sits enthroned king forever. Let the Lord give strength to his people. Let the Lord bless his people with peace. Whew, some good words this morning. Well, good morning, Karen. Glad to see you're joining us. And then our, uh, our next reading this morning comes from um, the book of Acts chapter 16, verses 30 through 35. Again, I'm reading from the Common English Bible. The next morning, the legal authorities sent the police to the jailer with the order, release those people. So the jailer reported to Paul, informing him the authority sent word that both of you are to be released. You can leave now, go in peace. Paul told the police, even though we are Roman citizens, they beat us publicly without first finding us guilty of a crime, and they threw us into prison, and now they want to send us away secretly? No way! They themselves will have to come and escort us out. The police reported this to the legal authorities, who were alarmed to learn that Paul and Silas were Roman citizens. They came and consoled Paul and Silas, escorting them out of the prison and begging them to leave the city. Paul and Silas left the prison and made their way <coughs> to Lydia's house, where they, were, where they encouraged the brothers and sisters. Then they, left for, then they left Philippi. Well, friends, this is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. So uh, let's spend a, just a couple of minutes uh, practicing our breath prayer this morning. Our breath prayer this morning is we'll breathe in God's glory and breathe out wonder and awe. 
So breathe in God's glory, breathe out wonder and awe. Let's go to the Lord in prayer this morning. Breathe in God's glory. Breathe out wonder and awe. Breathe in God's glory. Breathe out wonder and awe. Breathe in God's glory. Breathe out wonder and awe. Breathe in God's glory, breathe out wonder and awe. Breathe in God's glory, breathe out wonder and awe. Two more times, breathe in God's glory, breathe out wonder and awe. Breathe in God's glory, breathe out wonder and awe. Well, amen, amen. So we've been using our Wesley Study Bible for the notes and we've got uh, just a couple of ones for uh, this particular session, section. And this is for the verses we read today, 35 through 40. Only after the Roman officials drop their charges privately does Paul reveal their status as Roman citizens, making their beating illegal. Paul's insistence that the officials acknowledge their wrong forces them to declare Paul and Silas innocent. Hmm. Just a, a few little notes there. Nothing too crazy. So, I, you know, I thought it might help to kind of put today's scripture in a little bit of context. This comes uh, in the book of Acts after the story where Paul and Silas were being followed by a slave, lo slave woman who could foretell the future. And she was following them, shouting out everywhere they went that they served the Most High God. Paul got aggravated, and it was driving him absolutely nuts, and he commanded the spirit to leave her, which it did. And this, in turn, made the slave woman's owners very mad because she was their source of income. And they had Paul and Silas thrown in jail, where we read that Paul and Silas were beaten. And then during the night, an earthquake happened, and the chains that were binding them broke, but Paul and Silas stayed in jail, stayed there. And they told the jailer that they hadn't left. And then they told the jailer about Jesus, and he and his family became believers. 
Then we get to today's text where there's a twist, where the, where the rulers of the day wanted to set them free. One, one thing I read this morning said that this was probably because they were more concerned with crowd control than they were with individuals and finding them guilty. And here it's here that Paul reveals that he's a, Ro a Roman. And this is, is kind of interesting because if Paul had said that early on, he probably wouldn't have spent the night in jail. But it also shows that through all of this, that Paul was setting up, setting the stage for those who were coming behind him, those who might have been a little less fortunate. One Bible note that I read this morning stated it this way. Paul refused to take his freedom and run. He wanted to teach the rulers of Philippi a lesson to protect other believers from the treatment that he and Silas had received. Word would have spread quickly about their innocent, expressing the truth that believers shouldn't be persecuted. So I can see how Paul was, was in his way standing up for those who might have been a little less fortunate, who, were, who might have been a little uh, apprehensive about expressing their faith if they thought they were going to end up beaten and in jail. And, you know, I thought about that this morning and I wondered, you know, aren't we called sort of to do the same thing? To make a way that is easier and better for, for those who follow us by helping build the kingdom here and now? And I think that might be part of the lesson that we can glean from this, uh, this particular text this morning. Would love to hear your thoughts on this text if you've had a chance to, to ponder it a little bit on this beautiful Monday. I'm glad that the, the crazy heat is gone and it looks like it's going to be an absolutely gorgeous day. So hopefully you get an opportunity to get outside and enjoy it. Um, but let's go ahead and get ready to take on the day, shall we? Let's close with a word of prayer. Let us pray. God, we thank you for the beginning of a new week and all of the opportunities that are laid out before us. God, we ask that you guide us and help us take advantages, take advantage of everything that uh, we can do, everything that we can do to, to live into our faith, to love our neighbors, to show... Um, show each other how much we care and to show you how much we love you. God, we ask that you be with those who might be fa facing medical procedures today or this week. And God, we ask that you help remove their anxieties, if there are any, grant them a sense of peace and comfort. And Lord, we ask that you be with those who are oppressed. We ask that you be with those who are overlooked by society. And God, we especially ask you to be with um, the leaders of China and Taiwan as there seems to be some uh, conflict bubbling up over there. And uh, God, we just ask that calm minds prevail and that uh, they seek your guidance in, um, in how to work through whatever is going on. God, we just thank you for, for being you, for being our God, the creator of everything. And Lord, we're most, most thankful for the gift of your son. It's in his name that we raise this prayer to you. Amen. Well, friends, remember that this is a day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and celebrate and be glad in it. Go in peace, y'all. Bye for now.